in the aftermath of Israeli police actions against Palestinian civilians, Arab and Muslim countries teamed up against Israel. And guess who joined the fray? Syria. They launched about six rockets, setting off warning sirens across parts of Israel. This bold move makes you wonder, why is Syria so gutsy, taking on one of the world's military powerhouses? And it's not just Israel. Syria's had the nerve to clash with the US too. Threats? They brush them off. So, just how mighty is Syria's military might? Now, on paper, Syria might seem like a lightweight, ranking 64th out of 145 countries in military strength. Their defense budget? A mere $2 billion, which is peanuts compared to the US's whopping $761.6 billion. That's like, what, 0.2% of the US budget? And their active personnel? Just 100,000, with none in reserves. They do have 50,000 paramilitary forces. So, what's the deal? Why is Syria still a thorn in the US's side? Under the watchful eye of Bashar al-Assad, Syria's got some powerful pals, Russia, Iran, and the Hezbollah forces. But here's the twist. Assad's regime doesn't even control all of Syria. A chunk of northwest Syria is in the hands of opposition groups shielded by Turkey. Still, Assad's forces pack a punch, especially in the eyes of the U.S. military. All right, let's dive into the land power first. Syria boasts a solid 80,000 active personnel, making it the largest chunk of their military. Officially formed in 1945, the Syrian army has been the star player since 1946, taking center stage in the nation's governance. They've pulled off six military coups and have had their fair share of face-offs with Israel. Internally, they've been the go-to guys to quash Islamic separatist uprisings and the brutal, drawn-out civil war in Syria. Now let's talk hardware. Syria's got a whopping 2,616 tanks, with 1,700 ready to roll. Tactical armored vehicles, 41,148 in total, with 26,756 battle ready. They also sport 319 self-propelled artillery units, 3,225 towed artillery units, and a cool 669 rocket launchers. And guess where most of their gear comes from? Yep, Mother Russia. Their main battle tanks, for instance, are all Russian-made. They've got the mid-tier T-54 and T-55 tanks which have been on the battlefield since 1945. Fun fact, these are among the most produced tanks in Russian history. Syria also rocks the T-62, which is like the upgraded version of the T-55. This bad boy was the first to be produced with a smoothbore tank gun. Then there's the T-72. But the crown jewel in Syria's tank collection? The T-90A. This beast comes equipped with a 125 mem 2 A46 main gun. And here's a curveball for you. Among all these Russian machines, Syria's got an American star. The Humvee, a versatile light truck. So, it's pretty clear, right? Syria's military is back to the hilt by Russia, all set to counter the US dominance. Speaking of which, let's touch on the US-Syria tension. It all heated up because of the chemical attacks on civilians, prompting the US to step in. But here's the twist. On the ground, US forces seem more focused on oil heists in northeast Syria rather than calming the storm. The damage? 
Syria's looking at losses north of $100 billion. In fact, Syria's foreign ministry claims the U.S.'s illegal occupation has cost them a whopping $107 billion in the oil and gas sector since the war kicked off in 2011. And get this, almost 90% of Syria's oil, yep, it's under U.S. military control. All right, folks, next let's soar into the skies and talk about Syria's Air Force. With a force of 15,000 personnel, the Syrian Arab Air Force, or SAF for short, has been ruling the skies since 1948. Fun fact, it all started when the first batch of pilots graduated from a French-run flying school in Lebanon. Now, when it comes to their flying arsenal, Syria boasts a total of 453 aircraft. Breaking it down, we've got 208 fighter jets, 18 attack aircraft, 5 transport planes, 67 trainers, 153 helicopters, and 27 attack choppers. And here's where it gets interesting. Since its inception, Syria's been vibing with Russian-made fighter jets, starting with the Mikoyan Gurevich MiG-21, a jet that's like the granddaddy of interceptors. Then they moved on to the MiG-23, the super-fast MiG-25, and the twin-engine MiG-29. But wait, there's more. Syria's latest additions are two types of Sukhoi jets from Russia, the Su-22 and the Su-24. Especially the Su-24, this bad boy is an all-weather, supersonic tactical fighter and was the first to rock a fully integrated digital navigation system. And for those chopper enthusiasts out there, Syria's got the Karnov Ka-27, K-226, the Mil Mi-24, which is loved by 58 countries. And to spice things up, the French-made Aerospatiale Gazelle. So while the numbers might not be staggering, Syria's air force is a blend of history, power, and versatility. Given that Syria isn't dominated by seas and is mostly highlands, their navy isn't as expansive as you might think. With just 5,500 personnel, the primary role of the Syrian navy is to guard the nation's coastline and ensure the security of its territorial waters. In terms of hardware, Syria's got 33 patrol boats and 7 warships. No submarines, aircraft carriers, frigates, or helicopter carriers in sight. They're missile boats, straight out of Russia. The patrol boats they use are the Zhulk class from Russia and the Ghaim class from Iran. As for their warships, they're rocking the Polnokny class amphibious warfare ships from Poland. A blast from the past. Syria once had the Osa-1 and 2 missile boats. Developed in Russia in the 50s, these were classified as the largest torpedo boats. The Osa boats hold a record of sorts, with over 400 of them produced between 1,960 and 1,973. Now, let's talk geopolitics. There's buzz that Syria's strength could get a boost if it rejoins the Arab League. Why? Syria is seen as a bulwark of Arab resistance against Israel, especially with tensions heating up. And speaking of heat, Syria's got its eyes set on the Golan Heights, which Israel has held on to for over four decades. Captured by Israel from Syria in the Six-Day War of 1967, Syria's made it clear. They're determined to reclaim this territory, come what may. So, while Syria's naval force might not be vast, its geopolitical ambitions and alliances make it a force to reckon with.